This is one ultimate breakfast bowl. It's our favorite way to use up leftover potatoes. Crisp them up again, make a quick 10 minute scramble, and load it with your favorite toppings. So we'd have scramble and we'd have breakfast potatoes. Why not just pile them on top of each other, load it with toppings, and make it a lot more fun? Well, that's exactly what we've done with our Scramble and Spuds breakfast bowl. And I'll show you an even thriftier way to make a scramble than the traditional. Usually, if we're having roasted potatoes or sweet potatoes for dinner, we'll throw in a few extra, and that way we can make this loaded breakfast bowl in less than 15 minutes the next morning. But today, I will walk you through the process for our simple and adaptable roasted potatoes. So I'm using yellow potatoes, which I love love because the skin is thin enough that I rarely peel these. So you can just dice them up, drizzle a bit of olive oil, and then sprinkle them with your favorite seasonings. And today we're making our timely guacamole for this bowl, so I'm going to season these with some chili powder. So now my oven is heated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to pop these in, check them after 20 minutes, give them a stir, but I'll probably leave them in for 30 to 45 until I feel like they're crispy enough. Meanwhile, let's make a scramble. And the thrifty ingredient is tofu. If you've never had a tofu scramble, I was really surprised how quickly I came on board with this. But it turns out, like most things, it's all about the seasonings. So I'm using extra firm tofu, which can be sliced and it will hold its shape like this. But today we're crumbling it. Look at that. I'm heating a pan over medium heat and I have some frozen peppers I wanna use up. So I'll get these cooking with a teensiest pinch of salt and some pepper. And for the seasoning, I'm mixing one teaspoon turmeric with a quarter teaspoon garlic powder and half a teaspoon of black salt. And this stuff, it's potent. It's Kalanamak or Himalayan black salt. It's a volcanic rock salt and it smells like sulfur. So if you want your thrifty tofu to smell like eggs, this is what you need. Some people swear that it makes the tofu taste like eggs. I don't find that it affects the taste that much, but it definitely affects the smell. Half a teaspoon of this costs us two cents. So why not have your tofu smell like eggs? So I'm adding the crumbled tofu to my peppers. I use my hands for everything and I'm adding a splash of water to my seasonings. Give this a stir. I find this just makes it really easy to add these in. Drizzle the sauce over your tofu and stir that in. Just add your spinach and let that wilt. And I'm going to add in a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, which dissolves and adds a ton of savory, cheesy flavor. For four servings of this scramble, the tofu and eggy seasonings cost us $2.79, whereas six eggs, which would be less than the typical two egg scramble per person, would cost us $2.95. So this takes 10 minutes, it's super simple, and all those seasonings make it super cheesy and eggy and flavorful. And now it's time to load up our bowls. My potatoes are done. Look these crispy beauties. Toss them in your bowl, top it with a scramble and your favorite toppings. And we love our timely guacamole and our go-to cheesy spicy sauce, our speedy queso. This is one super tasty loaded breakfast bowl. And the best part is you can get creative with it. So use up those pesky leftovers, throw in some roasted veggies, some beans, some grains, salsa, whatever you want. And the spuds and scramble part of this costs us less than $2 a serving. So click the link below for this recipe and the bonus guac and queso, and make sure to subscribe for a new video every Sunday at five. You need to make yourself a bowl. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. We'd love to hear from you. We'll see you for the next one.